Hi folks, we're on to stage two of the preparing our, our acorns uh, for either planting or for sale. And we wanted to show why we float the acorns. Uh, Non-viable acorns, either uh, they never filled completely or they have uh, a pest or pathogen uh, or the, the weevils uh, have, have decimated. And here you can see some, some fairly mature weevils that are about ready to chew themselves out. Uh, those acorns will float, um, like these guys have done here in the water. There's an empty husk, uh, there's a stick, and, and uh, here's one that's in the husk. We'll see if it floats. And you can see what the husk has done. The husk acts, acts like a bobber, uh, kept that acorn up. And so we, we always want to, to verify, and a lot of times we'll wait for these acorns to fall out of the husk, or we'll, we'll throw them in a cement mixer and, and just beat them up a little bit so they, they come out of that, uh, that husk. And, uh, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to see, like, that one was viable. It floated. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tote that we just blew the chaff off of, and uh, we're going to dump it in here, a little bit of it, and then we're just going to, to push it down. Uh, we're going to see what floats, what doesn't float. Um, and again, you can put too many in, and, and nothing will sink to the bottom. So again, this is a great activity for kids on a nice September day. Uh, it's, it's about 10th or 12th of uh, September right now, and it's, it's going to be about 90 degrees. So uh, normally I have my kids doing this, and, and they love to play in water. Uh, and so it's a, it's a great way to actually uh, get, the, get the acorns prepped and have the kids have fun. So what we're doing is we're just pushing them down, making sure those that float uh, are, are actually floaters and those that sink have a chance to, to easily get down through. What we found is if you don't blow the chaff off and you leave all of those grass clippings, those grass clippings form such a dense mat that the acorns just can't ever sink to the bottom. And we're going to let these just sit here for a little while. Uh, the vast majority have already sunk that are going to sink. But sometimes, uh, you know, a viable acorn just doesn't get the, the message to sink right away. So we're just going to, to give them a little bit of time. I don't really want to stir this up too much because the acorns that are on the bottom will come back to the top. And so once we do this, and, and I'm about there, I figure the acorns that have all uh, dropped down to the bottom have. Uh, every once in a while, I'll take a floater find an open spot and, and drop it in. And normally it'll pop right back up like that one has done. So I'll make a little opening. Uh, I'll find one of these acorns, I'll drop it in and there it comes back up. So I know that acorn isn't viable. So now it, it's just a matter of having a bucket next to you and not stir up the bottom. I'm just going to dump these non floaters in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these down and there, there might be a few viable acorns in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this down to my tree planting. I'm going to dump it into a couple of piles around the tree planting and I'm going to let the squirrels uh, bury anything that might be viable or that they want to have for long term uh, that I've missed. I'm going to let the deer eat what they want to eat and basically uh, get, it, get it out of my way. And what's left in the bottom will be a viable acorn. So I am going to come down here and just mix these up once. Give them one more mix. You'll see a lot of the ones with the husks come to the top and, and it's a way to just release those where the husk has, has uh, sank uh, or was pulled down. And so we'll, we'll take a few of these guys and, and drop them back. We'll pull these husks off. Give it just a minute. So it's important to get back down in there. One more time. And what you're seeing is a really nice mix of, of clean. There's a damaged acorn. It was good, but damaged. So we pulled him out. Some more husks have floated up. Some more acorns that might have been pulled down improperly. So now we need to drain the water and uh, get at the viable seeds. And now that they've had water around them, if you leave them out uh, and you don't drain the water out, one, they're gonna imbibe water and, and uh, think it's time to grow. 
Two, uh, you could have mold form on these, which will reduce the viability. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to take a break from the film. I'm going to drain the water off. We're going to show you what is left when we have the water drained off. All right, so what we've done is we've drained the acorns. These acorns sank to the bottom so we know they're viable. Uh, what we did is we drilled quarter inch holes into this five gallon bucket and you can dump the water and it acts like a big sieve. Uh, but what you'll, what you'll find is there are still uh, bits and pieces of viable acorns that have sunk to the bottom. And so there's some that have holes still on them and we pull those off. Uh, we, we pull the pieces off. But in general, these, these acorns are ready. Um, they're, they're fully drained. What we're going to do is I like to put mine in a burlap sap uh, sack and uh, I'm, I'm going to put these into uh, a cooler or a refrigerator uh, until I'm ready to plant them. I want to make sure that they don't get too desiccated so you have to be careful. Uh, if it is in a, a refrigerator or a walk-in cooler um, that the, the frost-free action uh, doesn't desiccate uh, your, your acorns. Uh, and, and what I look for now on a direct nut planting is uh, I'm going to try to hold these and wait until uh, just before freeze up. If I could get these uh, planted and disked into the ground um, right before freeze up or right before a big rain, that's great. Because some of these, once you put them in the ground, uh, will be um, predated on by mice and by squirrels. The deer will dig them up. And so the, the later in the fall that you can, can put these um, into the ground, the better off you're going to be. And preferably right before a good rain, right before a snow, right before the ground really freezes up. Uh, so you can hold these acorns for a little while. Uh, you have to be real careful with uh, white oak acorns. These are bur oak, so they're in the white oak family, but, but bur oak have uh, better dormancy control. White oaks, as soon as they hit the ground, they're going to start to grow a root radical that, that fall. And so it's really hard for the homeowner uh, or the landowner to hold white oak acorns. So if you're looking for white oak acorn uh, direct nut plantings, you're going to have to get those acorns, get them immediately into the ground, uh, and, and just hope that the, you can overcome the squirrel and the deer uh, by, by giving them other food like bur oak and red oak as they fall. So uh, that concludes our, our acorn prep. So you watched us through the series clean the chaff or the grass off of them. You watched us soak them and float them. And then you watched uh, the end result here is, is good, viable acorns. Uh, and this is really the nursery would prefer if everybody that collected acorns would go through the hassle of floating them, uh, but they understand that, that time and, and effort, uh, not everybody has that. And so uh, if you're willing to have a reduced cost, they're willing to, to do the work for you. You just have to go pick them up and, and always call the nursery first uh, to see if they're actually buying uh, acorns and, and what they prefer, what species they're looking for. So with that, we're gonna sign off, have a great day. Uh, like and subscribe to the, the, the video series by ISU Extension. Thank you.